Going to get man-to-man -man pressure across the board. On, hangs in the pocket, floats one to the first down line to gain. Anaya Smith makes a dive and catch, and it looks like it is just good enough to move the sticks for the Aggies. And that he reached the line to gain. Now his own momentum is bringing him back towards the 35-yard line. It certainly looks as if that's a clean catch, Dan, so I don't think what replay right now is worried about is whether or not the completion right. was secured by Anaya Smith. I think they're checking the spot of the football. Four-man rush. Finley wide open. Jeray Jenkins first down and more. Finley Play sees pressure. Eight. Yeah, F Finley sees pressure coming from his left. Now it's coming. It's a five-man rush off his back foot. He beats the pressure, but not getting to the first down line to gain was Coy Moore. All that you can ask out of your head coach for your players. A keeper for Mott. He's got a crease. Kellen Mott to the 40-yard line of LSU. Flag thrown. It's the back. The linebacker follow that tailback. It allows the offensive line to get up. No one there left for Kellen Mond. From 42. He's got it. The Aggies strike first. Having the opportunity to get that kickoff. Slip doesn't matter. Ball gets through those uprights at home. Down and 10, play clock at four. LSU brings a four-man rush. Mott, well protected. Nothing open downfield. Finally throws one over the middle. And trying to get it through. A tight window to Weidermeyer. And it's knocked away again. Jabril Cox sagging back in coverage. Great job in man coverage by LSU. Everyone running with their guy. Eyes on your guy. Great job of the rush. Ojolari stays outside. On, looking Watermeyer's way, incomplete. Another pass defense for Jabril Cox. Constantino will try and angle one. Does it perfectly, down to the one yard line. <laughs> Making those calls, what a punt. I mean, that ball lands at the one, spins back like a 60 degree wedge. Or a Dan Orlovsky driver. Out about it, but if they don't get one, they don't get both of those or one of those two. Spiller handed the secondary. Isaiah Spiller looking for the pylon with a stiff arm. Is he in? Touchdown. So Cameron Lewis for LSU called for the face mask right there. And that wasn't even enough to keep Isaiah Spiller out of the end zone. Matter in these last four games for his Aggies. Spiller turns the corner again. To the 36-yard line of LSU. Watch Anaya Smith from the left side of the screen. Pop. He clips the safety. A great block by Weidermeyer and then Isaiah Spiller. You're a bitter old quarterback, so there's only so many times you're not going to side with pass interference. Mont over the middle. There's Watermeyer muscling his way to the five-yard line. Eli Ricks, the freshman, made the stop. Is it good enough for a first down? Mon, he's going to stare to your left, his right. Move that linebacker, come back, one hitch. He knows Weidemeyer is going to be right there in that soft spot in the zone. And he finds a soft spot in the zone to Terrace Marshall. And Marshall! An extra gear. All the way down to about the 30-yard line of Texas A&M. Strength matters. Watch Marshall come crossing from the outside in. That ball just gets on his back shoulder. Outstanding reaction and the ability to run away. This by Finley communicating to everybody, both sides of your offensive line in a loud environment. Pressure off the edge. Finley tipped ball on the carom. Is it intercepted? Jalen Jones, did he get his arms underneath it? Intended for Eric Gilbert. Pressure off his left, he's thinking one thing. 
Gilbert's thinking another thing. Ball's behind. Tips. Equal interceptions in the SEC. They'll run it instead with Spiller. That's worked. He's got a first down. Obviously not that many fans. It's a lot easier to hear a fake signal. And this time Seth Small puts it right down the middle. And Texas A&M ends the first half with three more. They've got a 13-0 lead. You better come out strong and convincingly handle this game in the second half. On the run, Jare Jenkins, a first down and more. It gets thrown down out of bounds by Damani Richardson. Pass, watch the safety drop down O'Neal. He gets that play fake bite. Ball comes out on time for Finley with the cross. Obi Stevens, this safety's dropping down near the bottom of the screen. Five-man rush. Mon under pressure and sacked right back outside of field goal range. The ball pops free, and it is picked up and run down the field by Carson Green. Carson Green, so Kevin Mond is going to fumble this football. Watch the looper. That ball looks like it pops out. Carson Green aware. Picks it up. Go, big fella. Peak. Physical. Out and Ooh, with the finish. 54. Another blitz. Wobbly throw, and it's intercepted by Buddy Johnson. He's at the goal line, and he's in. A pick six for Texas A&M. Watch T.J. Finley. He thinks the back's going to be uncovered. Nope, Tyree Johnson. Freeze it. Drops out underneath there, so now he's going to come to number two, and here's Buddy Johnson hanging out in the middle field, playing with vision on the quarterback. You get pressure. That ball floats a little bit. Pick. That's a great job by everyone on this Aggie defense. You blitz off one side, you drop off the other side. Look it, Finley wants to back, it's not there. Hansford with great effort and Buddy Johnson. I called him an offensive skill player before. Playing with vision and space, great hands and the ability to finish. It's an outstanding job by Mike Elko's defense. Look at TJ Finley peeking, nope it's not there. Great effort by Hansford. They bump Marshall off. And then just an outstanding effort play by Buddy Johnson. The right location or right guys and then be able to execute it. Johnson out of the pocket. Gets to the sideline and gets back near the line of scrimmage. Get the ball out and, and see if you can beat, a, get, beat the blitz with a pressure, a screen. Duck under on the rush by Tyree Johnson. And down goes Max Johnson inside the five-yard line. Watch Tyree Johnson here, and look at the bend. Just watch the bend on Deculus right here. Watch his whoop. I mean, that's big time. And then the spin around, and White sticking that left arm up. Watch, stick the left arm Number up. Zero you take away kind of that throwing lane, and you continue. You know, Texas A&M's putting numbers over to him. They're allocating people to try and take him away. Another sack. Just a four-man rush, and Bobby Brown got home. Your screen, push, push, push. And then Max Johnson really runs right into him, but that's just that. Third and 16. Johnson, underthrown, should have been, been intercepted. Right through the hands of Jalen Jones. I texted you this week, I said, I think Jimbo's building a monster in College Station. I mean, if you look at their offense and the production by you know, all the young players, it's coming. It, it's coming at Texas A&M, and they are right on the doorstep this year. And they will down that at the four-yard line. Now the SEC world, but being in the heart of Texas and having to recruit Texas. All those connections that you've made, as that ball can't find its way to Eric Gilbert. Saturday night, LSU's playing number one. Eric Gilbert. How about that run? He is a load to bring down inside the five-yard line, close to a first down with a minute to go. And there is a touchdown pass. Exactly the target, Dan, that you thought he'd be looking for in Terrace Marshall. Watch Marshall, a little hot step. Now pressure step to the outside, put your foot in the ground, come back underneath and secure that catch. Good finish.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.